Hello and welcome to another A-Level Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra can be used to simplify Boolean expressions. We will be learning about the following. General rules, commutative rules, associative rules, distributive rules, absorption rules, De Morgan's first law, and De Morgan's second law. The first nine general rules can be worked out by thinking them through. So if we consider something and zero, we know it's an and, it's got a zero in it, the output will always be zero. Something and one, if that something is a one, then the output's going to be one. If that something is a zero, then the output's going to be zero. So the output is going to be the same as that something. So x and 1 is just x. x and x is going to be 1 if x is a 1. It's going to be 0 if x is a 0. So x and x is the same as saying just x. x and not x, one of them's going to be a 0, one of them's going to be a 1. So in an and, that's always going to come out as a 0. When we move on to looking at our ors, if we've got something or zero, then if that something turns out to be a one, we'll output a one. If it turns out to be a zero, we'll output a zero. So x or zero is the same as just saying x. x or one already has a one in it, so regardless of what x is, it will always output one. x or x will output one if x is a one, and zero if it's a zero, so x or x is the same as just saying x. x or not x means that it's going to be a zero for one of them and a one for the other, so there'll always be at least one, so it will always output one. Finally, not not x is the same as just saying x. Commutative rules specify that the order of an AND or an OR is irrelevant. That is because the space taken up by X and Y is exactly the same as the space taken up by Y and X. In the same way, the space of X or Y is exactly the same as the space of Y or X. Associative rules specify that X and the result of Y and Z is the same as saying the result of x and y and z. You can see from these Venn diagrams here that whether or not we first look at the area that is between y and z and and it with x, or look at the area between x and y and and it with z, we still end up with the same green section in the middle being identified. In addition, x or the result of y or z is the same as the result of x or y or z. Both of these, as you can see in this Venn diagram, would represent the entire shape with all three circles. Distributive rules work like the distributive rules from mathematics, with ands taking the place of multiply and or taking the place of plus. This means x and the result of y or z is the same as saying x and y or x and z. Similarly, the result of x or y and the result of w or z is the same as saying x and w or x and z or y and w or y and z. Absorption rules let us simplify statements. If something is either in x or it's in the area that is represented by x and y, which is the green section here, which is totally within the circle x, then it's just the same as saying it must be inside x. Similarly, if something is in either x or the area covered by x or y, the only logical place it can actually be is within the circle x. De Morgan's first law specifies that not a or b is the same as saying not A and not B. If you look at this Venn diagram here, we can see that both of these represent the grey area outside of the two circles. De Morgan's second law specifies that not A and B is the same as 
not A or not B. In this case, not A and B would be everything except the green section in the middle. Similarly, if we said not A, we'd be talking about not X, that's everything other than the blue section circle. And then not B, which in this case is not Y, would be everything other than the yellow section. And so you can see this too defines just the green section in the middle. Simplifying Boolean equations can be a big challenge for many students. The best way to approach it is to take each step one at a time and specify what rule you're applying. If you don't get to the final answer, this way you should at least get part marks for each time you've applied a correct identity. Let's start by attempting to simplify this very complicated looking Boolean expression. It's important to realise that there would be many ways of simplifying this equation. The first thing I'm noticing is that something or not something is equivalent to 1. So I'm going to enter the next line with that change in and specify the rule that I've used. Next, I note that something and 1 is always going to be equal to just something. So I make that change and specify the rule I've applied. Next, I use the distributive rule to expand out my terms. Now I can spot another rule, b and b, is going to be just equal to b. So I make that change. Now the absorption rule tells me that b, or the result of b and c, is the same as just saying b. Using the commutative rule, we can rearrange these so we can see another pattern. Finally, we apply the absorption rule once more, and now we have this equation in the simplest form it can be. That brings us to the end of this video on Boolean algebra. Join me again soon when I'll be back with some more videos on computer organisation and architecture. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. Until next time, it's bye for now.